Hi, SuperTruth here, back with our answer I mentioned the new game plus 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 video, episode 199. Yes, we're one away from 200. And it's been a little bit since last episode, and you can see I have 12 billion W plus bosons, 423 billion Z bosons, and enough infinity and eternity bosonic runes to get the next two bosonic upgrades. So this means assigning gives more color quarks based on your meta antimatter. That's insane yeah that's several or several thousands of orders of magnitude of quarks there and there's the you produce one percent of space shards in big red per second um on big red per second but break eternity upgrades that boost space shard gain are are nerfed so this means i just get more space shards and everything not only that i can get a million levels of this and a thousand levels of that so it's pretty good i definitely want quantum bosonic runes instead of um, this also, I probably should just bite the bullet and max this because this is it's only doing actually, no, it is it's still a 7.4k per second, it's more than what I have, but I probably probably should bite the bullet and max that soon. So you can see I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of balsonic antimatter here. I, I now have some balsonic battery and I can get E109 billion in big rip. This means, I yeah, 12 radiant decays. Actually, 13 is going to be possible here. And, yeah, that's insane. 13 radioactive decays. Probably a ton of rewards as well. Yep, I got the 104 rewards. So the anti-prion is, the anti-prion ghost has woken up again. Doesn't really do any, it's, I, I know, it's, it's the anti-prion ghost is really just a glorified soft cap on nanofield rewards so it's not bad if it w wakes up it's literally just saying it's oh it's soft capped <laughs> and with like a bunch of lore behind it so i mean when you do reach the soft cap you do get the 0.5 tiers of all the rewards so that's pretty good and then also i have i've been forgetting to this i want to dilate time yeah that's why 20 orders of magnitude of tachyon particles right there and maybe maybe I can get even more because I'm up to E112 billion in big rip. Okay, that, that wasn't a lot more. Could even try Ghostify. Actually, no, I'm not going to Ghostify yet. I want another light empowerment, except I don't even think that light empowerments ghost, uh, like force Ghostifies anymore. I, I don't think. Um, I don't think there's. Or, uh, there's light empowerments. Oh, it says light empowerments no longer reset photons, error resources. So I think they still force Ghostify, but that they don't reset this so yeah that, that's that i have e390 spins which is definitely the most i've ever had I, I should probably go out a big rip and i could reach a new antimatter record the previous antimatter record is e209 quadrillion uh, it doesn't look like i'm gonna reach it but i'm still gonna reach like e190 quadrillion which is really good here it's gonna definitely it's gonna give me more balsonic watts and more balsonic antimatter and everything at this point so i'm not really sure what i should do i definitely should be getting quantum balsonic runes maybe i should just max i think is i can't max both of them maybe what i can do i'll get this up to level like a 1000 or something yeah i'm getting up to level a thousand and then i can try to get some z bosons and w plus and w plus bosons could also try to get more levels of this I could even try doing a ghostly balsonic rune. Now it takes two minutes to get, and it might be worth it, but I still think even at this point, I should just be trying to get the next upgrade here. So I think what I'm just gonna do is is max this. It's gonna over it's gonna do more than double this level, which is gonna give me about 50% faster um, production and use of antiprions. So especially with the bosonic battery. Like, if you see here, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bunch of balsonic battery. It's really good. And it still costs a lot to do even a small overdrive. So I'm not going to not gonna do overdrive at this point. I'm just going to do the same routine as before. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later. And I got a lot of W, a lot of Z bosons and W bosons. And it's enough to be able to extract a ghostly balsonic rune in about 18 seconds. Which is pretty amazing because this means I can start getting. I actually noticed these balsonic upgrades cost barely any balsonic antimatter, so I, I almost did, I didn't even notice that. 
So, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just get this one first, which means, um, yeah, Electrons boost the per 10 meta dimensions. Multiplier, Bolsonic Antimatter boosts all Nana Fail rewards. That one is OP. Look at that. It's E270 quadrillion already, and I can probably get even more when I get this. Unlock a new boost from every third Light Empowerment <laughs> from Light Empowerment 7 to Light Empowerment 25. Now I have so much Bolsonic Antimatter that I can get another Higgs boson. It's that OP. I haven't even gotten like these Bosonic enchantments. I wasn't I wasn't preparing to get a whole nother um, Higgs boson here. I can get actually two Higgs bosons. I just wanted to see what like the you gain more Bosonic battery even does. Like is this that's barely anything. And then what is this? This is just divide the requirement. Maybe I can max this enchant um, because maybe I can get more Higgs bosons out of it. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna be able to get two Higgs bosons. Maybe I can get a couple of these, like I can get um, this, and then this, and this, <laughs> and then go Infinity Bosonic Runes, and Eternity, just so I can get a bunch of levels of this, because right now I'm nowhere near the level I need, and yeah, that's pretty OP, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go into Big Rip, E144 billion in Big Rip, that's 14 radioactive decays, and... 113 rewards so yeah so i feel like i almost should be actually i can do another light empowerment i'm way over because the new boost from the light empowerments i'm, I'm not, i have no idea what it is is it um there has to be something here i don't i don't even see these new boosts but yeah that's pretty op it's it's, it's really the the one like this one is just so op 87.5% stronger nanofail rewards. So, I guess I'm just gonna ghostify here. Or actually, no. Well, I mean, I will ghostify because that, that's what I probably should do. If I go to neutrinos, I can get a few of these. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna be able to get good ghost particles. Is it because I'm, like... I mean, I can dilate, of course. Maybe... Is it because, like, my internal matter is bad or something? I have no idea. Like, going to Attorney Challenge 10 does absolutely nothing, so, um, yeah, I will just do the, I, I, I know I should just get the Ghost Particles first, it's really gonna be more the Neutrinos and the, um, Ghostifies rather than the Ghost Particles, because I don't, I don't think I have E39 Ghostifies right now. Yeah, it, I have about E32, so, that's pretty good, and... Yeah, I'm just, I, I, I always Ghostify first and then do the Light Empowerment, so yes, I will Light Empowerment, and since it doesn't reset my Photon stuff, this means I can get a bunch of Light Empowerments. I can, I can go from 10 straight to 14 Light Empowerments, and maybe this is the new boost. It says they make the, that all lights boost other lights from this formula to that formula, which is a better formula, so... Yeah, now I should probably just reset Balsonic Lab for two Higgs. So here we go. Everything that, yeah, even, yeah. So now I have three Higgs bosons. It doesn't, I don't think it really means all that much. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I, 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 I think that was what I was supposed to do. Maybe, maybe it's not the right thing to do. Um, but... Yeah, also I reset all the, all this stuff. At least I have all the light empowerments and like, I have more neutrinos. So, or I don't have more neutrinos. Rip. Well, maybe this wasn't the best idea, but maybe I'll, 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 learn, I'll learn from it next time. So, like, I probably should have just gone for this upgrade here. So, I mean, of course, there I'm going to be getting a lot more Bolsonic Gantz Matter and hopefully... There still isn't a lot of thing that Higgs bosons actually do. So I guess I'll just start extracting bosonic runes and Yeah, actually maybe I should go into big rip first because 88 reward that's gonna help and then Eight radioactive decays nine radioactive decays. Okay, that, that's decent And then maybe if I go out of big rip I can get enough antimatter to get some decent bosonic watts and I can decay like the W boson and oscillate the Z new uh, boson so yeah, maybe that, I really feel like I made a bad decision there, but whatever, it's... I, at least I got the light empowerments beforehand, so that's going to be pretty powerful once I start getting the Masonic Lab stuff going again. 
I mean, maybe it was a good idea because the... I actually checked the pins on, on the Discord, and it says that the... Like, you saw how there was, like, a soft cap to the Bolsonic Antimatter, and the pins said that it happens whenever you reach the requirement for for the Bolsonic Lab. So maybe maybe it was a good idea. I'm really not sure. And I, pro I probably just should try to get this going. So it should, it should hopefully be slightly quicker than last time, especially with a better strategy of, like, trying to actually go for this earlier because this one is OP. Seen a bit. Okay, I am back after another day, and you can see I have a lot of Z bosons and W plus bosons. And enough runes to be able to get two, actually three, bosonic upgrades. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get them all at once. I've already gotten these a bunch, so I don't really need to go over them. And this hopefully should allow. I can still get a bunch of levels of this, and probably get. Probably want to get a few levels of this as well, just so I can get more runes. I can get a few levels of this. I mean, since it's now Higgs bosons are producing more balsonic antimatter. I guess I can get that. But the thing is that I have way more than enough balsonic antimatter. I think um, a better thing to do is just to get W plus and W minus, or not W minus, but you know, W and Z bosons. I should just call it that. And maybe, um, let's see. I'm just going to go into big grip. It's not really going to mean that much. I mean, yes, 100 reward, rewards and 11 radioactive decay. So that, that, that's something. But other than that, there's not much else I can do. So, yeah, stay in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and you can see I have um, a lot of Z bosons, a lot of W plus bosons, and just a lot of everything. And also, I can get this, which is I know this is a really good upgrade, or maybe this is not as good as I thought it was. It's still something. So, um, yeah, I, I'll I'll take that, and then. I guess I can get a level of this, except it doesn't really do anything. I'd much rather get the 220,000 levels of that. Or maybe I should just get more Eternity Bosonic Runes. Um, well, I probably, probably want to max this so I can get more of these runes. Um, what I want to do is I want to get these upgrades here. Maybe I don't want to max this, though. That's the problem. I mean, it just uses Quantum Bosonic Runes. Yeah, it's probably okay to no maybe it's not i am really not sure i just want to get 15 no not 15 50 000, actually 125,000 of these so i can get more um just everything i'm yeah this is this is sort of yeah it's annoying i guess i can just go into big rip here um i mean it's definitely gonna allow me to get quite a bit farther 11 12 radioactive decays um that's gonna be nice 102 103 rewards um at least i'm getting that but um there's not much else i can do at this juncture i mean i could get 104 re rewards so i can get the um because there is the uh I know there's something where if you get 104, well, yeah, you gain 0 0.5 extra tiers. That's probably worth it going for the 104th reward, especially with the with the new Ghost of Eye upgrade. So yeah, here it is. Anti Prion Ghost has woken up. <laughs> I don't. I, it's just so weird that it's like, like oh my god, it's just just it's just a glorified soft cap. I've already said this many times, but still, it's just funny. Anyway, at this point, I'm just waiting for more. Um, Turn deep bosonic runes, so yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a day later or so, and I just noticed that I probably should get this upgrade here because um, there's not really any other use of the ghostly bosonic runes, and it will give me one starting upgrade. Okay, that's pretty useless. I thought I was gonna get a little more than that. And I used up all the infinity bosonic runes, so I cannot get this one. Maybe I can reload. Okay, good. I was able to reload in time. Okay, I just... This upgrade is useless for now. Um, don't get it, because it uses up way too many Infinity Bosonic Runes. Instead, I'll just get these two upgrades, and this should be huge. Yeah. I'm already up to E200 Quadrillion Antimatter. 
Bosonic Antimatter is going crazy, even though that doesn't really do much. It's re it's really more based on the on the runes, which yeah, they're they're slow. But anyway, I, I can go into Big Rip. Maybe this will do something. Um, at least I can get like more stuff. Maybe okay, not even 13 radioactive decays. 106, 107 rewards maybe, but not much more than that. Okay, it's not as powerful as I as I thought. It's, these the runes are just really annoying because I need way too many runes for everything. And even with all these Z bosons, I can decay and I can do like the decaying of the W boson and all that, but I can't do much more. I just gotta wait for um, some more bosonic runes here. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to end the episode. Next episode, episode 200, it's just going to be no to the series and just history of the entire series. It's just amazing how I've made it this far. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the 100s, like from 100 to 199, and peace out. <laughs>